One, two, three, action. <laughs> so, as it turns out, there is a God. Okay? You see this shirt here? That's my shirt. And I come down here with this dog in the woods so I can get some energy out of him. Because I don't know how to put it in a pill. <laughs> and uh, let him run around. Well, I took my shirt off because it's such a beautiful day. It's like around 80 degrees here in northern Alabama. And took my shirt off and I have this bag I carry with me in the woods and I wrap it around that strap where that leash is well I was walking through this ha ah. yeah I got the sun in front of me this time you know I'm walking around in this you know and it fell off so you know, and I was way far behind me. You know, I was probably more than halfway back to the truck. And I'm like, my shirt's gone. <laughs> like, well, let's go back. So we backtracked all the way back to the summer house where we last stopped. And retraced our steps. Looking and looking and looking. And I'm praying. I'm like, Lord, I love that shirt. I know it's a work shirt now, but... You know, I don't know if you could see. No, it doesn't say Ruth. It says truth. And it has uh, John 14, 6 on it. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Dot, dot, dot. I found it in a strip, uh, a strip store. A thrift store. When, uh, when we first come down here or came up here, or whatever we did, and uh, so I bought it, you know, a couple bucks, and I've been wearing it to work and stuff, and uh, I was wearing it out in the woods today, and I dropped it, I'm like, man, I gotta find that shirt, I'm like, you know, I may never find it, may have to look, come here three or four more times before I find it, I'm just like, Lord, Please help me find this shirt. And, and I said, Lord, you said, seek and we shall find. Well, I'm looking. Looking and looking and looking. And lo and behold, here it is. And that's that's exactly how it fell off my bag. Uh, I haven't even touched it yet. I just set my bag down here and decided to make a little impromptu video for anybody who doubts in God. And you'll say, you know, well, Mark, you know, that's just good luck that you that you found your shirt again yeah no <laughs> I don't believe in luck I believe in God and see things like this happen to me every day all day long okay see it ain't about religion blah 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 it's about relationship and I know that's a trite thing to say but it's true it's true. I see a lot of people running around, you know, asking, you know, why does God allow this? Why does God do this? Why does he allow this to happen? You know, I just lost my 401k. Why did God let me, you know, why did he allow that to happen? You know, well, number one, <clears throat> who are you to question God? There's only one God, and he's the almighty living God. The creator of all things. That includes you. You are a creature. You are a part of his creation. And there's no way that a creature can know what his creator is thinking. I mean, it tells you that plainly in the Bible. You know, my ways are not your ways. Uh, my understanding is not your understanding. Lean not on your own understanding. On and on. You see, you know, everybody, see I think 
people get uh, God mixed up with Santa Claus for some reason. <laughs> Old Saint Claus. And uh, God ain't Santa Claus. God's your creator. He's your heavenly father and he loves you. He loves you so much that he didn't make you a, a programmable robot. He gives you a choice. And you only have one choice. And that's to serve him. And if you ain't serving him, then you've chose the devil by default. You see. It's, it's not hard to figure out. You start talking to God every day. You start reading his word every day you start trusting in him every day you know when you're, you're when you're faced with an impossible situation what seems impossible to you well you know, just know that all things are possible with god okay but but you're in this situation it just looks impossible i've been there the best posture that you could take, the best attitude that you could take is to say to yourself and even to others out loud, you know, it's going to be really interesting to see how God takes care of this one. Because like he says, his ways are not your ways. You know, God's ways are mysterious. Why? Because we can't understand them. Because we're the creature. We're the creation. And that's all God wants from his creation. Is to have a loving, caring relationship with them. Where you love and care about him. And he loves and cares about you. If you run around denying him. You run around shaking your fist at him. Well, you're just going to get what we have here today in this evil, wicked world. War and, and destruction, bloodshed, on and on. So, you know, we're coming into some crazy times. I mean, it's always been crazy times, but the times seem to be getting crazier and crazier and crazier because that's what Jesus said. It'd be like, you know, the birth pangs, the labor pains, man. They, they start getting uh, speeded up. Something's going to happen. There's so much to say, but I've rambled on for almost nine minutes. I love you all. You all take care. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell. And uh, you all be safe and seek the truth. Bye.